I'll be showing you step by step how to customize the theme code for your refresh theme in Shopify. I'll be showing you two ways. I'll be showing you the main way as well as an additional way to add custom CSS from within the Shopify theme editor. So let's start things off from the Shopify dashboard. Let's go through the first method. And that's going to be editing the entire theme file itself. We'll have access to any different page here and I'll show you how to access it from our theme section. So on the left hand side, under online stores or store. This should be under sales channels and this should open up our themes section automatically. So I currently have the refresh theme installed here and to go and access the code, we wanna hover over these three dots here. And before we make any changes, I do recommend duplicating a current version of this theme. This will create an exact backup. So if you make any mistakes, it's very easy to restore rather than try to figure out what you did wrong. Once you've done that, we can just simply go to the edit code button this will open up our code editor for our theme. On the top left hand side, we can search all our existing files. But on the left hand side here, if I go and close these folders, we can see all the files available. For example, if I open up templates, I can see all the templates for my blog, my contact page, my product.json. I'd say for most people, there's probably one main file that you're gonna edit and it's gonna be the theme.liquid file. So if I search for this in the left here, theme.liquid, this is going to include the head and the body section for the main HTML that is loaded. And so if you've installed any apps on your Shopify store, these might appear here in the head tag or at the closing body tag. If you set up your Google Analytics or Facebook pixels manually, you probably opened up this file. It can be a little intimidating at first when going through, but most of this code is quite clear in terms of what it does. But if you make any changes here to finalize it, you can just hit save in the top right. And at any time, you can also click preview store in the top right to see the effect your changes have. So that is the first way in which to edit the code. And this will probably be the main way, but if I click exit here, I'll show you quickly how to add custom CSS within the theme itself. So if we navigate back to the themes page and I go and click on customize, we can click on any section here. Let's say I wanna click on the slideshow and this should open up a menu on the right hand side. And if I go down to the bottom here, there should be a section called custom CSS. So we can add custom styles to this section only. So this can be a little easier than adding it to what is typically the base.css file where all our styling is held, but we can do this for any element. If it's not the slideshow, maybe it's the featured collection. Again, clicking on the element, scrolling down, and there is a custom CSS section. Before I go, I wanna say that keeping track of how much money your store has actually made can be very difficult, especially if you're using spreadsheets or Excel. That's where our sponsor, ProfitCalc, comes in. It's the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. Once set up, all you need to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations, including all your ad spend from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, and TikTok, as well as many other cost of goods sold options options, including all your other expenses as well, such as transaction fees or ad agency costs. It's going to include a ton of different details, analytics, and metrics, so you can make smarter business decisions. It can also have multiple stores in the same dashboard if you run multiple Shopify stores, and you can get started with a 15-day free trial. You can find it in the Shopify app store by searching profit calc and looking for this logo in the top left. There's also a link in the description below that will bring you to the Shopify app page directly. So in conclusion, that's how we edit the code for our Shopify refresh theme. If you're using a different Shopify theme, the process should be the exact same. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.